Welcome back, Josh Taylor, Andrew Filipponi. Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. 412-575-2600 on the Bordas and Bordas hotline. Pony, we got to talk Steelers and Ravens. We haven't gotten into okay. that yet. Um, here's a story that we know. Steelers need a win, a Titans loss to get in. If they lose, they need a handful of teams to lose. But at the same time, Ravens sitting a few of their starters. But on their side, they're saying, look, we're still trying to win this game. It's not like they're sitting the entire starting defensive and offensive units. So looking into this, even knowing that, okay, there's no Lamar Jackson, there's no Mark Ingram, but they've still got Robert Griffin III, who's probably going to run the, the offense at least similar to what they would do under Lamar Jackson. And it looks like most of that defense is probably going to be active for this game. What are you expecting right now? I expect the Steelers to win. If they don't, um, you know, it's a really disappointing end of the season. Uh, John Harbaugh has also vowed to play Trace McSorley in his first NFL game at quarterback, the former Penn, Penn State guy. Wow. Uh, so to me, that was a clear signal, Josh, that you know they're not you know, thinking that they need to uh, invoke the integrity of the league and like value the rivalry and play it all the way to win. Uh, so for that, re that's one of the reasons why I think the Steelers have to go there and beat them. Um, I, mean, I watched Robert Griffin at the end of the Jets game a couple weeks ago on a Thursday night. To me, I know he's a mobile quarterback, but <laughs> it's a night and day difference with him versus uh, Lamar Jackson running the offense. So I expect the Steelers defense to tee off on him. Um, and as far as the Ravens defense is concerned, their best run stopper, Brandon Williams, isn't going to play in the game. And I think their corners, Humphrey and, and Peters, who are both pro bowlers, were start. But I was told today by somebody in Baltimore that he thinks they're out of the game by halftime. Wow. So uh, I think they're going full preseason preservation mode. And for that reason, I think the Steelers absolutely have to go in there and win. And maybe it's ugly like 16 to 7. But I pretty much expect ugly out of every outcome. Yeah. But this, this team has been playing and probably since Devlin Hodges took over as the starter. You think about it just one of those 16 to 7, 17 to 14, yeah. 13 to 9. Sorry, I don't want to invoke the wrong <laughs> memories. But that's kind of what you're thinking as far as scores go because there's not going to be a lot of offense. And I think he'll play better. He doesn't have Rudolph looking. He's not looking over his shoulder now, Josh. And I think we've kind of gone a little overreaction on how bad Hodges is. I actually thought when he came back in for Rudolph, he was good. I mean, he drove him down the field. They should have been in field goal range, but a bot snap, bot snap and a sack. And then, man, you could say that he, he put the ball where it needed to be on two consecutive throws yeah. that could have gone for touchdowns, but – the wide receivers either couldn't hold on or couldn't make a play in Juju's case. I think that's fair. And I'm curious to see, based on everything you just laid out, what might happen with Baltimore, especially in the second half of what everything you're saying is true, just how this team responds. And more importantly, if they can get a lead and hang on to it with how this offense has been kind of stalling out for whatever reason in the second half of games. In the meantime, we are out of time. Thanks again for Andrew Filippone for you, joining Josh. us, 93.7 The Fan. You're going to see him more on Thursday nights here on the Island Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. On behalf of Andrew and our team, our producer, Steve Banco, also Patrick Damp, Jared Barton, and our team at Pittsburgh CW, I'm Josh Taylor. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you're enjoying the holidays. We will see you over at uh, KDK News at 11. We'll be talking quick lane bowl and some Steelers as well. In the meantime, see you tomorrow night.